Okay, after some uh, careful measuring, this is the distance I want between my dowels as I go down the line of my uh, handrail, I guess we'll call it. So it's just a hair under 12 inches and I had to do some I don't know, just some basic trial and error stuff to get what I wanted. So my first hole in the in the rail is going to be an inch and an eighth off of off of this edge. This board is going to be the end board. So I wanted it to be this I wanted to create the same uh, line this way as I have this way. So this is inch and an eighth inset to land in the center of this uh, Baltic birch. So I wanted this to be inch and an eighth inset as well so that I have a nice rectangle going around here and then I'll space these uh, differently than I will these but they'll they'll be this the same reveal here. So I've, I've got my mark here, it's just where the this uh, rail is going to start, and I, it obviously is running wild and long. But that's my mark. And uh, after doing some measuring, I know that this is where my first dowel pin is going to go. Inch and an eighth in this way, and inch and an eighth in from this direction, so it's symmetrical. And then from this point on, I can just continue on down the line. So uh, let me finish drilling. I've drilled. What I had to do was drill through this first because of the way my jig is set up. And then I'm using. Then I use my locator pin here to locate the hole in the board. Position the board on my mark. Clamped it. I'll show you this too, I guess. I've got this is my reveal hanging over the, the edge of the board here, three quarters of an inch. So it, it will also be the same reveal here. When this board gets put in place, that's going to be my reveal. So that this edge and this edge are on the same, same plane. Alright, so let's just drill this first hole here. Okay, now I'm going to take one of these pins and then I can put my I can put my jig back together. So that's that that's my number one hole. Everything is gonna work off of that. Now I can put this back together. And start working on down the line here. Okay, I'm going to clamp this on this side now. Keep it from moving. Pull this pin. Put in my distance. This is the thing I had to finagle with quite a bit. It's just like uh, a hair under a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to put that in here. And then from up now on, I'll be using the center hole.
So the, this, the, the jig is clamped to the rail and then I'm pushing against the jig. So I push up against this spacer board. And then I can drill my next hole. Good, I think. If I seem like I'm a bit nervous, I am because <laughs> I've only got two of these boards. here. And this spacing should be a hair under 12 inches center to center, which it is. Okay. Onward, we'll see how it turns out. Let me get down to the end down there. All right, I've got all my dowels uh, positioned and holes drilled except for the last two. And I know that my uh, last hole has to be inch and an eighth from the end and an inch and an eighth from the outside. So I positioned that and I did some measuring and I found out that I'm a, just a, about a quarter of an inch off over this 14 foot length. So I'm going to split the difference on that last hole there. I'll show you what I mean. If I were to, if I were to use my jig, my setup here, and position this hole, and then use this to position this hole, I would be a quarter of an inch off. Uh, long, I think, yeah, long. So I'm, I'm doing this hole, and then I'm gonna just split the difference here. So instead of being, um, just a hair under 12 inches, these, this, these will be an eighth of an inch less than that on both of, on both of the, the, this measurement right here. So I'll make a little minor adjustment to my, my uh, offset jig here, or me, you know, measuring stick. And um, I figured out that it's about 20 thousandths of an inch difference uh, down the line. But it'll be fine. I, no, I don't think anybody will notice that. At least I'm not going to notice it over that long. Just an eighth of an inch difference here and here. It'll be okay. So it's not too bad, I, I guess, for eyeballing it. I really had no precise way of measuring it uh, using that jig, but. I suppose there probably is a way, but I, I didn't take the time to do it, so it'll be fine.
Alright, we'll drill this set of holes and see how we turn out down at the other end again. Now you can see that spacer I had over there. I'm pushing against the jig to force this contact point against that spacing and keep my my rail three quarters of an inch off that Baltic birch. Okay, all the holes are drilled. Um, I, I've dry fitted it. I've got my end board here uh, cut to size. I want to put those in at the same time. Um, what you can't see here is I've got I've drawn two lines. I ran my pencil on either side of this Baltic birch sideboard here to help me locate where I'm going to run a bead of glue. So that's done, and uh, basically all I got to do is, 
I got all my dowels spaced, one, one per hole. Run my glue, flip this over, locate the, the dowels, and then clamp and glue all, all, right on down the line. So that's what's next for me. I'm not going to show you that, but that's what I've got going here. I've got to, I've got to drill these holes yet here in this board, figure out the spacing, and once I get that done, then I'm ready to go. This may be, not maybe, this is the most clamps I've ever used in a glue up ever. But it went pretty smooth. And I can't really complain. Everything looks good so far. And it went, uh, everything pulled down nice and nice and easy. So I'm going to let it sit overnight. And we'll pull clamps in the morning. Another day, clamps are off. And uh, everything looks good. Just got a lot of sanding and router work ahead of me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be trimming these flush here. Trimming the ends of the boards off to length, sanding everything, and then rounding over these edges, the inside edges and the outside edges. And uh, I guess taking the edge off of the bottom here too, sanding, just a lot of sanding. So I won't bore you with that, but when I come back, that'll all be finished. Okay, I've been rounding over, or not been, I rounded over the edges. I've been doing some hand sanding. And I'm liking the feel of this now. So I've got the top pretty much done here. I've been using my sanding block, and I'm telling you, this thing makes, makes quick work of getting into these corners, blending the edges here. Knocking off the edge underneath here, but then sometimes you just gotta do a little hand sanding like this. But I can use it this way, this way, this way, up here, right here, round this over on that end grain. the edges and I had one casualty that I had to tell you about today. My vacuum, my shop vacuum, it's a Pullman Holt. They don't even make any, well they make Pullman Holt. Still manufactures vacuums but they don't manufacture this model. This is a model 55. It's 20, I'm gonna say 26, 27 years old. I got it just after my, probably 27. My, when my daughter was born, but the motor burned out on it. I've got an order, a motor on order, should be here tomorrow, and for 110 bucks, I think it'll be back in service. So anyway, there she be. I'm getting real close to finishing this. I've got, uh, I've got these, like I said, these are done. I've got to work a little bit on the bottom here. Break these edges. Uh, but without my vacuum, I can't really. It's gonna take me a while to clean up all this.
All right. I'll let you know how things turn out with my vacuum and we'll see what happens next time. She's all done except for the playing surface and I hopefully I'm going to get that done Saturday. But I just got done giving it a once over or two or three times over probably was more like it but I had a couple of places that I had to remove some tear out that's why you see my sanding block and uh, my number 80 scraper there. But I uh, got those taken care of and it really looks good. I'm I'm happy with the way it turned out so I've got the main bed here supported on my outfeed uh, table a roller system and then I've got a couple of temporary legs underneath there just to make sure if I would put pressure on one end or the other it's not gonna tip over on me so good to go there the legs are legs are over here and my table saw. I'll be getting those up on my on my ultimate work on my ultimate work table to put a finish on those so they'll be moved up here. Uh, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll so I'm I'm excited about putting some finish on it. And the next time you see me She'll be all wrapped up and ready to go, and I'll show you it all fully assembled.